Good morning, everyone. So already with the presentations we've heard so far, we know that we live in a remarkable time. We live in probably the best time ever to be in business, the, uh, the greatest time to have new ideas, reinvent ourselves, rethink our businesses. We live in a time of convergence, which basically means our computing, our communication, our connection to the internet, the way we collaborate has all arrived into one place. Normally the device that is very seldom more than about 30 centimeters away from us, we have converged. Technology has always facilitated our lives, but today it is now becoming highly customizable and deeply personal. And with Peter Keldenace's presentation, you heard where that future is coming. The line between offline and online is, is being blurred. It's becoming two parts of the greater world. And this has had an interesting effect on employees and it's had an interesting effect on customers. We as customers are thinking, are going about the business of being customers in new and interesting ways. We're going about the business of working in new and interesting ways. You know, if we think about our lives as customers, the way we go about it, we've become converged consumers, which means we've become lifestyle life hackers. We've become tinkerers of our own lives. We're lifestyle design enthusiasts by nature. There isn't an app we can't use to tap into some part of our lives. We're targeting weight loss by saying we, we're gonna consume this many calories, we're gonna burn that many calories, hopefully lose a lot of weight. We all have our friends who post on Facebook that they've run 12 kilometers in 25 minutes, and I'm convinced half of them are just driving that route very slowly. But anything in our lives we can tap into, we can hack. And this means that change has become internalized. The idea of transformation is just becoming second nature. So we don't wanna just travel the world, we wanna be world travelers. And at every stage, we've got the technology to share it, to involve others, to take others in our journey around the world. And the way we're looking at work, the way we used to approach work, if you got a job 40 years ago, you had one focus, and that focus was your pension. At the end of a very long rainbow, you'd get a pension. Today, that security is not necessarily there, so our focus tends to be more purpose. We wanna feel like we're part of something amazing. And where we used to just need a good boss, today we want to work with great colleagues. We want to have work with great people to share that sense of purpose with. And who remembers the amazing time, the simple time when the office hours used to be nine to five? You got to work at seven, eight or nine in the morning, you'd interacted with your colleagues, you did your job, you went home, and now you were a husband, a wife, a mom, a dad, a mate. The line between your personal and professional life was very separate. That began to blur the first moment we were given cell phones and said, here's a cell phone, you go and do your job with us. And we were all very excited. The idea of making a phone call from anywhere was amazing. And it was all fun and games though, until one night you got a call from a client, a colleague and a boss. And the first time it happened, we got irritated and said, why are you calling me now? This is my time, call me tomorrow morning. Today we don't think about it because the office hours are whenever. And the office used to be the place of work. The only place you could do your job was at your office. More and more, that's not the case. We can do our jobs from anywhere in the world. Really, we can do our work whenever. And where there used to be a time I'd get a job with you and I'd be so grateful and I'd say, thanks for this job, I'm looking forward to the next 40 years with you. Today, the tenure is not, we're not looking at our whole career, I'm looking at whatever. What is the opportunity that exists for me? Am I gonna work with great colleagues? Am I gonna be, is there gonna be purpose in what I do and can I do my work from wherever and whenever? So the entire approach to work is different. So we have employees that are different. We have businesses that are different. We have consumers, customers that are looking at the world in very new and interesting ways. And they are demanding a new breed of business, a business that understands, a business model that understands the time we are in. And that time is when we are combining our technology with our humanity. And that new breed of business is generally referred to as digital, a digital business. And people define that differently in different ways. Some think it's all about technology, some think it's all about social media and our customers. Yet in truth, it is quite remarkable what digital means in the age of personal technology. A digital business is one that knows and understands its people and knows the technology they use and uses that technology to build relationships. That's a digital business. So it is a people and technology proposition. You cannot have one without the other. And in all my talks and presentations and workshops and everything I do is decoding this. What makes it business digital 
and what makes us succeed in a time where many predict is going to be one of the toughest ever. Thank you very much.